Hello friends, today I will show you very tiny Phytophagus wasps and today is the middle of May and this is the day of 80 for liberation of Ukraine from occupants who were coming to Ukraine day number 8, very difficult hope will be easier later but at least we have time to record this video in Kyiv, the capital of Ukraine. And who are these insects? This is entomological video. These are very special insects. As I said, Phytophagus calcidoid wasps. Calcid wasps. And this is a super family Calcidoidae or the Hymenoptera. An increased magnification of a zoom. And finally, you can see this was very interesting and very nice. This is a family Megastigmidae. Megastigmidae, super family Calcidoidea or the Hymenoptera. They are very tiny, to be precise, just 3 mm size, body 2 mm and just 1 mm or more this uh, long stick from the body. Long stick from the body is named ovipositor. This is a structural part of the body which is used for oviposition. And where they are living? How did I collect them? Well, I collected them together with seeds of ro wild rose dog. Very common plant which is growing everywhere as a weed usually, even in urban areas, in cities, very common. So I collected dry fruits of rose dog and these wasps of a genus Megastigmus just hatched from the seeds, penetrated the fruit and were collected in a, my plastic jar with, full of se s fruits, dry fruits of rose dog. These insects, they should be fed somewhere in flowers, but they are in captivity, so they are very happy to be fed on these drops of honey. So that's why they are becoming calm and easy for recording. These insects belong to the order Hymenoptera, so they, their close relatives are bees, ants, bumblebees and wasps and another parasitoid or phytophagous insects of the order Hymenoptera. But these insects, as I said, phytophagous. Phytophagous. So they emerged from fruits of rose dog. So that's, so that's why we say they're phytophagous, so eating plants. More precisely, we were eating seeds of plants, seeds of rose dog inside fruits. Fruits were just fresh when becoming dry and dry fruits were just can be collected on branches of a shrubs of a rose dog. So I collected them on branches, kept these dry fruits in a plastic jar and in a glass jar and rapidly received these insects, not rapidly. I have several jars, so I keep them at least over the maybe several months. Some fruits I collected still in October, some collected in April, in March and April. So now this is the time probably for germination of a pupa inside its end. From pupa appeared adults of these insects. So from seeds many adults of a megastigmus, this tiny phytophagus was emerged. And you can see here these insects with long stick or ovipositor. But no, no male, 
Mail is a difficult problem situation. For some species, males are pretty rare, or we may say they appear in different time rather than females. In some species, males come in early, in some species later, so this is a biological feature. But also we can see here two, di three different females, and they have color different coloration. Here on the right side is the brown female, and on the left side two individuals just brighter, yellowish. You can see also wings over the abdomen and a black spot of a so-called pterostigma on the disc of a wee for a wing. Head has a two antennae and antennae are moving because the chemic accepting chemical signals for odor, for smell, for communication. And this central insect just feeding on honey using mandibles and using some palpi, palpi maxillare, palpi labiale to take a small drops of honey and eat it. Some already fed, becoming active and moving outside. And why this ovipositor is so long? This so-called like a stick. Ovipositor is long because, as I said already, these insects developing inside seeds of rose dough, but seeds inside fruit. So how insects can come inside fruit? So these tiny females must lay egg, many eggs, in different seeds inside fruits. So that's why we need to penetrate rose dough fruit with the help of this lone ovipositor. This is a difficult task. Sometimes you can observe it in the nature, but not at the moment, because we still don't have flowers on rose dough. When flowers were coming very soon, we will receive bulbs on the place of a rose dough fruits, and so in this time green bulbs of a sea fruits of rose dough are parasitized by these phytophagous wasps. These females will penetrate by the use of this lone ovipositor the skin of a green rose dough fruit, and the female will lay eggs inside seeds. Seed is hard, had a hard shell, and also fruit has a hard cover, so that's why ovipositor must be very low to penetrate fruit deeply. So hard work, but females working very well. Different species of Megastigmus, we have a different body shape, body coloration, and even different size of ovipositor. So it depends from the species and depends from feeding, from oviposition of this species. One species may have a low ovipositor, another one just short ovipositor. And coloration is also different. But this is a very important for identification. So that's why we need a series of individuals to make comparison between individuals. Is this a one species, not one species, different species? And what is the morphological variation of the same species? Even they are they collected in one place. So this is taxonomical problem how to identify the species. But sometimes in some places, in some unstudied areas, you can also collect 
new species for science. Of the same genus, why not? If your area have not been studied by entomologists, nobody didn't collect seeds of rose fruit in your area, maybe you can find personally new species and new species for science or new species which have not been never been recorded before in your area this will be new scientific data which can be published in a scientific journal so you can participate in this publication if you are entomological enthusiast if you are insect lover you can collect rose dough fruits dry one or just germinated germinated green I wanted to say green fruits and keep them in glass jar to receive some phytophagos calciduos from seeds so you can collect dry fruits or you can collect fresh one when they just germinated some somehow in the end of summer now in the spring you can collect old fruits from old fruits new specimens of these insects will come maybe never studied in your area as I said so if you are interested in such cooperation to identify your species contact my my contacts are written below you can write comments under my video or you can find email in the description of my video as well so maybe you can publish scientific paper about distribution of this species in your area so females are feeding very funny but we don't have here male not yet maybe males will come very soon as I described before I can say life life cycle like like the following I repeat it again this is a female female will lay eggs inside green rose dough fruits in springtime larva will be developing inside seeds inside green and growing fruit of a rose dog then larva will be over wintering during the long or winter cold time or maybe not cold time in your area but nevertheless over wintering then pupating pupa will be still inside seeds and adult will come only in the next spring of the next year so that's why next generation always will come on the next spring of the next year Maybe in your area it can be different if you if you are living in a tropical area. But in temperate region this is a life cycle. Adult will live just a week or several weeks, and larva will be growing several months and pupating only in the next year. And new adults like this one will emerge, will hatched from dry fruits and hatching from the dry seeds inside dry fruits in the next year so they will come and I collected them like this so they are happy to be fed and I am happy to describe this life cycle for you just for your education and maybe for cooperation and if you like the idea of cooperation collect rose dough fruits and contact me via email and don't forget subscribe to my channel write your comments it will help to develop my channel and if you like my channel you can be sponsor see links under the description of my video subscribe press like write your comments and be my sponsor good luck see you soon on my channel bye bye